Next Crop and Livestock is the production of animals and crops on one farm while both benefit from one another. The crops help the animals by giving them food, which helps them grow. From that, the livestock's manure helps fertilize the soil, which helps the crops grow. This is an ongoing cycle between the crops and livestock. Mixed crop and livestock farming takes place in countries across Asia, including India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Afghanistan, and China. It also includes South Africa, Central Europe, Canada, and Russia. In addition to these listed countries, mixed crop and livestock farming also takes place in developed countries such as the United States and Japan, in which it is used for commercial purposes. Mixed crop and livestock farming is most commonly found in developing countries because most of the people who use this method of farming need both food security and income. Oftentimes, especially small farmers have to decide whether they should grow crops or raise livestock for a living. When farming with the mixed crop and livestock farming method, they can do both and can gain milk, meat, vegetables, just to name a few. This is especially beneficial for subsistence farmers because it is sustainable, although commercial farmers also use this method of farming. Mixed farming systems form the backbone of smallholder production in developing countries, producing over 90% of the world's milk supply and 80% of the meat from ruminants, according to Cecilia Schubert. Oftentimes, you will find mixed crop and livestock farming in developing countries where they use the product they produce for themselves and to sell. This type of farming is very important because this is where these people receive the majority of their income from. Mixed crop and livestock farming is important to the farmers that are using this method because if there were to be a bad harvest, selling a chicken or cow would help the farmer's family overcome their economic loss. Farmers get more than three-fourths of their income from the animal products they sell, although farmers typically devote a lot of their land to grow and harvest crops. The top crops that are grown during mixed crop and livestock farming is corn and soybeans. A lot of corn is eaten by humans, but most of it is fed to pigs and cattle. Like corn, soybeans are also used to make animal feed. This shows commercial farming. The USDA has made new guidelines for the organization GAP, Good Agricultural Practices, which strives to reduce the contamination of fresh produce. These new guidelines discourage the use of manure in crop farming. Many farmers want to be GAP certified and they are worried that using manure as fertilizer will negatively affect their certification. In addition to this, there are specific guidelines that Organic Operations has set in place. Manure can only be used as fertilizer 90 to 120 days prior to harvest. This is because they do not want the edible portion of the crops to have direct contact with the manure fertilized soil or soil particles. In conclusion, manure from livestock is beneficial for growing crops, but it is only beneficial when it is used correctly with enough time. With this method of farming, there are multiple advantages that come with it. One, farmers have work year round. Two, there's lots of cultivation. And three, there's fertilized soil. Mixed crop and livestock farming takes place in developing countries where it produces most of the world's supply of meat and milk. This system of farming is very important to the livelihood of people in these countries because it is the source of most, if not all, of their income and food security. Mixed crop and livestock farming is often found in developing countries because the people who practice this method of farming benefit in two ways, food security and income. If these people obtain different occupations, they would only benefit with income, but oftentimes this is not nearly enough to provide food for these families.